coaches are, you know, they're trying to have your best interests in mind out there, sure. but in the back of your head, how much are you, I don't want to say frustrated, but just chomping at the bit to yeah. say, hey, will you just leave me be and, and let me do my thing on the practice field? Yeah, I mean, you never want to see someone else doing your job. I think that's the biggest thing for me, and um, I feel like I'm ready, and I know a lot of people who come back from this injury talk about the mental aspect. I think I've conquered that months ago, so um, I know, like you said, that, that they emphasize it's the best thing in my interest and, and for the team, but as the competitor in me, I want to be out there with my guys, calling the plays and, and running them, and really, you know, my argument is, you know, OTAs, are they that important? Well, for me, they are. It's, it's, this is my third year in this offense. I'm trying to uh, get out there and replay that I haven't ever ran before. So, um, you know, they've been pretty good about trying to get, you know, you see some play action stuff out of the pistol. I don't know how much we'll do in in the regular season of that, but um, at least for me to get some play actions and things like that. So um, I understand, you know, what's at stake, and, and I'm not stupid. I, I don't want to, you know, get hurt here and, you know, not even be in, in, in training camp. But I also know how much it means to be taking those reps right now. Did that, did that brace be downsized as you go home? No, that's actually a that's smaller brace. A yeah, I've... Uh, I actually wore one in, in New England um, after I strained my left knee, actually, and um, it was a longer one, believe it or not. Um, this is kind of the shorter version of it. Brian, with the, the pistol mm -hmm. and then the bootleg, okay. all of that stuff, like, will you enjoy that? I do. I mean, we ran it with Norv last year. We had we had that kind of option with Norv, and that was, my, that was my first time running it. I think, like we talked last time when I met with you guys, the pistol is... Um, you know, it gives you a lot of options because you do have a more of a run threat out of the gun. And, um, you know, for me, I like being in the shotgun. I think I could see things better. Um, you know, some quarterbacks will say they see things better from under. Um, I, I really don't I don't care either way. But I do think that, like you said, it does gives you a, a run pass option out of the shotgun. Um, makes the defense play a little more honest. So, if anything, you know, them kind of putting that in for, for me to get reps, uh, I think it can help our offense be more versatile. It's almost harder for you to learn this offense because this is another pro offense for you. This is Johnny's first kind of offense. Sure. You know, it's it was going to be new to him no matter what. Yeah, I think um, there are certain things, and this is my sixth offense in about two years now. So um, there are certain things that carry over all over the place. And, and really, the NFL is a copycat league. So some of the plays that I'm running with Kyle, when I was in New England, we stole from Kyle just to put in our <laughs> offense. So um, there's... There's a lot of things that have carryover, but there are certain things that Kyle runs that I've never run before. So, like I said, I've been begging to get those reps because I want to make the mistakes or, you know, in, in OTAs, not when it comes to training camp. I want to have the read down. So, um, I think me being in the NFL for this long, um, it's probably an advantage because I'm used to going from offense to offense to offense. And uh, like I've told you guys before, this is similar to what I uh, ran in my earlier years as opposed to what I did last year. Brian, with so much install, do they give you a, a choice to, to listen to your voice and say, this works, I like this, this works for... Um, this at good. this point, I'm just sitting back and letting them teach it um, because for me, I, I know, like I said, we used to steal plays from wherever Kyle was because there was a lot of concepts that we liked. I know that this offense is very uh, powerful and, and uh, run pass, play action, um, things like that. So I, I really like the direction we're going. I'm, we're learning constantly. We're still installing stuff. And... Um, you know, now it's just about, you know, we'll, we pretty much have everything and now it's you're getting back to plays that you ran a few weeks ago and trying to remember those. And, <laughs> and um, so I think it'll be good for us. We really, after Thursday, we have a week left. Um, really, I guess it's five practices left. So, um, you know, after the downtime, you kind of let it soak in a little bit. Right now our heads are all a little bit spinning. <laughs> and um, I think, you know, when you have that off time, you kind of pull back a little bit and you can kind of watch the film. You know, they'll have all the breakdowns for us. You can re look at the book and, um, and then really when you come to training camp, you kind of have a, a better feeling as opposed to just learning. You kind of, you know, when you hear a play called, oh, I've run this before, this is how it's going to play out. And I think we'll all be better when we're Brian, back. Brian, this team really had almost zero run offense last year. So how much better is it going to be just because of, because of that? Yeah, I think as a quarterback, you always know if you have a good running game, you're going to have a good passing game because when you make a defense defend the run, it opens so many things up in the passing game. So I think, you know, obviously the scheme, the guys we have at running back, you, you know, you look at, we bring in Ben Tate, you draft Terrence West, you have um, Baker who hits the whole hard, Obanaya who's a, who can play both, um, Deion Lewis when he gets back. I mean, th we have a lot of guys that fit this offense really well, and, and I think when you make, you know, that a point of emphasis, it, it helps the offense as a whole. That was incident with Josh off the field, you guys are still waiting for clarity from the NFL. Um, obviously, he's a guy that you guys need out there, mm -hmm. not just, you know, for eight games, but yeah. for all 16 of them. 
pull him aside at all and say, hey, you know, we, we need you out there to, to try to give him some big brotherly type advice? I think he knows how important he is to this offense. And, and like we've all we've said before, we're going to, you know, decline any, you know, questions on that until we figure out what's going on. I mean, um, you don't want to assume anything. And, and we hope, obviously hope for the best because he is such a threat and talent on that offense. And um, you look anywhere where Kyle's been, that X receiver has been so integral, whether it was Andre or Pierre. And, and um, now having played in it for this long, you, you see how important it is to have a guy like Josh. So, you know, hopefully it all works out for the best and, and then we'll go from there.